Hello everyone, welcome back, hope you're doing absolutely fantastic, and today we're back with another Microsoft Let's Simulator video, and in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to navigate using the radio on the Boeing 247D by Wing 42. I have covered this aircraft in the past, just my last video, if you haven't watched that yet, make sure you do, I will leave a link in the top right corner. And look at this beauty. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoyed the content. And right here, we're doing a walk around, making, sh making sure everything is good. Everything is looking good. Nothing out of place. I do feel like this aircraft is really, really, really good. It's fantastic. Maybe if there was a way for us to do a actual external inspection, that would be very, very nice. And this is one of the liveries you get with this aircraft. And let's go back inside. And this is the inside. I am using live weather. We're gonna be. I'm not gonna do a full flight all the way to the flight path that I made, but we are gonna be flying for a little bit. So, this little software here is called Little Nav Map, and it makes flying with the radio navigation a lot, a lot easier. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide all the airports with hard surfaces and this is where we're at. This is where we're going. When you get the Boeing 247D, inside the documentation folder, you get uh, the stations as user points, and you're going to import all of them into a little nav map. So, I selected a departure airport, and I selected a a destination airport sorry so now what i want to do is i want to look around the airport and see if we have any stations we can fly to and we do we have this one just to make this easier i'm gonna add as a user point uh let's let's move this up which you can do there we go move it up So looking at this, we have some numbers, and I'm going to show you what they mean. So we have 524, ident 524. That's the frequency you're going to be tuning into. And you tune into this frequency, and you listen to it. The rest of the numbers, they are headings. And alongside the, the, the documentation you got, you have all of the stations. This is the one we're going to be flying to. And it, this really helps visualize what's going on. So this is separated by four quadrants. And imagine this is a road. Ideally, you want to stay inside a road and you want to head towards the station. That, that's all this is. And if you're outside, you're going to get a specific signal. So if you are to the left of this, you're going to get an A. A in Morse code, which will be short long. If you are to the right of this, you're going to get an N, which is long short. So long short, short long, those are the beeps. A short beep, a long beep. And... As you might have noticed, they are inverted. So, long, short, short, long. If you are right in the middle, you're going to get a continuous beep. And then you're going to fly this heading. So, we're coming from the south, flying north. We hear a long short. We are here. We had a little bit towards the left. 
we overshoot this, we hear sharp long, we move back a little bit to the right. Um, once we get the continuous beep, we, we want to try and fly this heading, and this is pretty much to whatever side you're flying. If we're coming from this way, this is what we're going to be aiming for. If we're coming from the north to the south, this is what we're going to be aiming for. It's, it's very straightforward once you kind of get the hang of it. And this really, really helps visualize what is actually going on. And Little Nav Map helps you plan this. You actually get uh, all the charts with the with the airplane, but I find Little Nav Map a lot easier than searching a bunch of pages for the the state you're gonna be flying in. Like this is Miami. You're gonna have to look for Miami, and then you're gonna have to look for the stations. Then you're gonna have to plan all of this, and Little Nav Map makes this a lot easier. We also have a station here. So this little symbol is the station so you can navigate to it. Uh, sometimes you have like this blue flag, that's a music station. There is music here, so that's super nice, really, really nice. So the frequency is 524. Inside the airplane, this is what you're going to be using for your navigation. You want to have this on on and this on on. This is for the course. Uh, I think it's course something. I might be completely wrong. But yeah, this should be on on and then you're going to be navigating. If this is off, you're going to be looking for a music station. So this. And since it's 524, we're going to move into the 500 range. So 500 to 800. And then we're going to fine tune this, like, like so. All the way down to 500. And then after we turn on the plane, we're just going to search for it slowly. Uh, let's have a look at the airplane. Radio fuses. Make sure they are there, they are good. This is where you turn on the radio once the battery is on. Fuse box, everything is looking fantastic. Closing the key. Nav lights. Battery. And I can kind of hear a faint beep. I'm going to bump up the sound on my recording software. A lot better. This is what you're looking for. It takes a little bit getting used to. You kind of have to play around to find the best frequency. Uh, okay. Everything is looking good. I'm going to be turning you off real quick. Just so I can get rid of all of the stuff that I got there. And you also have this, which is basically what I tried to explain. So we are coming from the south. If we are to the left, short long if we are to the right long short this is a very very nice graphic really really nice uh the two signals overlap a constant tone is received which is basically a continuous beep and uh, let's go back where we can get rid of all of the stuff we're not going to be using so, pretty much everything. <laughs> Park and brake command on. We're going to be starting the left engine. You can come back online. Left on. Both. 
magnetos you okay so you were on you are off off nav lights on drop full forward please there we go i use keyboard hotkeys for this it's it's a lot easier uh, i think we are good actually so let's pump three times one two three uh wobble pump and now we get the assistant on the flywheel it's a little bit loud so i'm gonna tone down a little bit five a little bit of throttle Pressure is a little bit high, that's because the oil is cold. And let's do the right engine. One, two, three. Gonna turn you off. Wobble pump. Flywheel. Wobble pump. As soon as this turns green, I kind of like to wait a little bit. I feel like this turns green a little bit too early sometimes. And we have two good engine starts. And let's hide this. Do we have the char? Snoop. Right here, carb is a little bit cold, but we can fix that. Both coming up, so we can heat you up. Yeah, it's going up. Engine is looking okay. Fuel should be good. We just did a walk around. We didn't spot any leaks whatsoever. Bio temperature looking pretty good. Uh, pressure looking good. We are facing west and we kind of want to take off. And after we take off, we're going to head north ish. And then we're going to turn on the, the radio. I really, really hope the recording um, software picks up the the beeps. There is a volume on the radio, but I feel like even with this on max, the beeps are not loud enough. I kind of wish we could make it just a little bit louder. Can you move, please? Clear right and clear left. Can you move, please? Ground handling is a little bit hard, but I do imagine the real aircraft wasn't really the best for ground handling, so. But I do wish the handling was a little bit better. It can be very, very hard maneuvering in tight spaces. Okay, so pressure is going down. Pito coming on, and the sky just changed. <laughs> um. Landing lights. 
Everything's looking good. Letting go of the brakes. Speed is alive. Seventy. 80 rotate. Plus the rate gear will be coming up very shortly. There we go. So landing lights coming off and landing gear coming up. Pull the propeller back just a little bit. Oh, it's hard getting the, the the right pixel. There we go. And the pressure is good, temperature is good. Okay, so far so good. Radio coming on. And this is how you navigate. We listen to the Morse code and we try and aim for the, the path. Again, long, short, we arch the right of the flight path, short, long, we are to the left. We can see the, the airport right below us, we're going to be flying over it. And here we have our trusty compass. And I'm gonna be trimming this, make things easier for me. The RPM is pretty good actually. I don't really have to turn it down. Long, short. So I'm kind of going to fly towards the, the left side. Flying here right in the middle helps a lot sometimes. And the temperature is falling. So low pressure is high temps. So we open that so we can cool the oil. And we should fix that. Should.
and the pressure is rising. I really, really like that I can actually poke the instruments, like... I had no clue I wanted this, but now that I have it, I cannot see myself without it. <laughs> I don't like to switch the tanks around then. Okay, pressure is rising. Not fully closed, just a little bit down. Sometimes you might have noticed we get a different beep and every minute or so we actually start hearing this. This is basically the code for the, the station, so N A S and yeah N P B I think. Yeah N P B No more beeps. Okay, so we have a constant beep now. We have a constant beep. We just got it. And this is how you navigate uh, using the radio. And it's a whole lot of zigzagging. You notice you're to the left, and then you move yourself to the right. You notice you're to the right, you move yourself to the left. I kind of wish I could make this louder. And this is how you can navigate with the Boeing 247 by Wing 42. This is how you can navigate using the radios. And this is how you can make it easier for yourself by using Little Nav Map. It makes it so much easier just seeing where you have stations, uh, planning your flight accordingly, it's it's a lot easier. But I did look around uh, the tables they give you, like the actual charts, and it's fantastic. It's it's a really, really good material, like it truly is. And I hope you have success flying with this. I did a few test flights earlier today. I was trying to figure out how this works properly. I was trying to figure out the oil. And yeah, keep an eye on the oil pressure. Don't let it fall, don't let it rise, and you should be good. Let me know how this goes for you. I really hope you learned something. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content. And wherever you are, I hope you stay safe, fly safe. Bye bye.